Hello and welcome to Pure Experiences Online Satsang. This satsang is an opportunity for everybody to meet and discuss the spiritual matters, get your doubts cleared, and we conduct the Path of Knowledge program within the satsang. If you are facing any problems in the program, you want to join the program, or you have any questions about it, about the contents, we can discuss that here, and all questions are most welcome. Siddharth is saying, I do not have much to say in the reports for step 4, only waking state practices. No problem. You can submit monthly reports also. On the website, you can uh, skip the step number. You can go directly to step 4, then step 8, then step 12, like this. Or you can write, everything is going okay, one line for every week. The purpose of the reports is to judge your progress how much awareness you are having, whether it is increasing, whether are you getting any benefits from it or are there any problems in it. That is the purpose of the report. So if no progress is happening, no problem is happening, then also it is okay. Some people, they see some dramatic changes and some people, they do not see anything. Probably if there are no impurities in you, then usually nothing will change. If there are too many impurities, then there are very strange side effects. So we simply monitor these things in people for three months. And those who are wondering why we don't have any um, dream state or projected state practices here. So uh, the news is that we have moved it to the Tantra Bodhi now. It is not gone. It is nothing to worry. It will be, it will, because it is somewhat occult in nature as and not a part of the path of knowledge. So we simply moved it from the program to the another program. So when it is launched, you can join that program after completing the practices. uh, I'm sorry, the program. And you can start those practices, those who wish to start it. This is done because not many people were interested in these practices. They were interested mostly in the waking state. And I was also saying that don't worry about the dream and projections and all. Just concentrate on the waking. That is most important. So that uh, those videos were actually worthless for the program. So same videos will be pushed into a new program where with more content, more techniques, more details. And uh, they will be taken up by only those who are interested in the Tantra or the occult part. So a little bit of simplification was done to the program. I mean this step number four of the program, but uh, nothing is gone. More will be added actually. Siddharthi Singh, I have few weird dreams here and there, but I just don't pay attention. No problem. They're not important for the purpose of the path of knowledge program. You can ignore the dreams completely or any other states. Pure waking state, wide awake, you need to apply the knowledge there. And uh, some people must be wondering how to apply it. I don't have anything unusual going on in my life. Everything is fine, peaceful. Then no problem at all. Just become aware of these, uh, your everyday activities. That's all. Be in knowledge is the purpose of the practice. Just giving a little bit of habit to the mind, which is so used to be in the ignorance, we are changing its habit a little bit. And that is all. Nothing needs to happen there. You don't need to get any side effects, any strange experiences, nothing. In fact, if I see that people are reporting something strange, I stop them from doing the practice because they need purification first. So it is absolutely okay if there is nothing to report. Oh, nothing happened today. Nothing happened yesterday. (laughs) So it's perfectly okay. Just send one line in a week or just one line in the month. This month I was in awareness for as long as it was possible and nothing unusual happened. That is all, you see. But many people are not as lucky as Siddharth. What do they report? I can't remain aware. This tendency comes up. That habit comes up. I am mostly in suffering, I am mostly in this torture from the past memories (laughs) and they are not as lucky 
so you need to send the reports these people they need to send the reports and nothing to worry only you can see the report only you and the reviewers can see the report they are not public lela is saying when i first started the awareness practice there was a weird dream like feeling but after a while it went away yes um, because um, it is new it is it is a new experience for the mind to think like this and to perceive the world like this that it is an illusion and the challenge is to remain in the illusion otherwise it will fly away somewhere and that little bit of strangeness comes with this thing so even though there are little bit of Uh, strange experiences we don't mind because the mind gets habituated of these sooner or later yes if the situation is getting worse then i stop the experiment because now the purification is needed and how long can the purification take nobody knows and in the program there is no reporting facility in the step number 6 of purification so it is taken on a personal basis then the program is simply used for uh, watching the videos you can watch all of them or the relevant and then we do the purification personal basis hopefully everything is going okay you need to continue the practice for the rest of the life the 3 months are only for teaching the practice of course it is all uh, optional if you feel like no there is no need to do the practice or i am not benefiting from it and then do not do it if it becomes a load a burden you are already burdened by many things and you think this is another work to do which it is not it is not a work it is a state and uh, you don't find it amusing also then don't do it but if you are enjoying it you are drinking the nectar of the bliss and awareness then you should continue it for life long it has benefits kanika is saying when you are referring to impurities what are those in the layers of the mind if something is not functioning as it should then we call it impurity you can see that there are thousands of processes going on in the mind the vrittis cyclic processes so any of them becomes defective it becomes an impurity simple examples i'll give you that it is a normal process to become hungry every day you become hungry two three times per day the body triggers this process and then the body follows the mind and body they do something to get the food this is important for life but what is an impurity the hunger triggers every hour you ate something and the hunger is again present now you can see it is not really hunger <laughs> it is something else it is an impurity what is the defect of what is the harm of this that the body becomes unhealthy becomes fat and ugly and what is the cure yes awareness is the cure not my orders you see i don't order anybody not any trick don't watch all the videos no dieting needed nothing awareness is needed because you are a student of the path of knowledge now this is the best tool in the universe what does the awareness do here simply detects the faulty activity this process and does not allow any kind of action on it so you need two things actually not only awareness awareness and intention sakshi bhav sankalp you combine these two combine your intention with your awareness the intention should be i will not act on this thing what if your intention is weak and it takes over no problem with practice your intention will be stronger and stronger and stronger how to put more charge in the intention by repeating put more attention in the intention you see the attention and intention they have common word in them tense tend which means to pull fuel it put more attention put more energy in the intention not in the action when the mind says do this action which is faulty and necessary you simply pull your attention into the intention put the energy there repeat it again and again and again don't let the attention go back into this thought of eating something or this imagination and the mind is very powerful it will produce a sensation of hunger also i am just giving an example of hunger it can be anything anger lust or it can be jealousy or it can be something positive like uh, attachments with people 
లైక్ ఎండ్లెస్ ఎంటర్టైన్మెంట్ ఆన్ నెట్ఫ్లిక్స్ ఇట్ ఇస్ పాసిబుల్ యూనో సంథింగ్ విచ్ యూ థింక్ ఇస్ పాజిటివ్ దట్ కెన్ బి ఆల్సో డిఫెక్టివ్ సో ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ యూ విల్ అబ్జర్వ్ ఇస్ దట్ ద డిఫెక్టివ్ యాక్టివిటీ విల్ లోవర్ యువర్ అవేర్నెస్ అండ్ ద మైండ్ హెల్ప్స్ ఇన్ దట్ ద మైండ్ ఇస్ ఎ ట్రికీ థింగ్ ఇట్ విల్ లోవర్ యువర్ అవేర్నెస్ సో దట్ ఇట్ కెన్ డూ వాట్ ఇట్ వాంట్స్ టు డూ ఇట్ కెన్ ఫుల్ఫిల్ ద డిజైర్ ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ అ ఫాల్టీ డిజైర్ అండ్ నౌ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ వెరీ కాంప్లికేటెడ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నౌ సమ్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్ మెంటల్ డిసార్డర్ దెన్ ద మైండ్ కన్విన్సెస్ ద పర్సన్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ద పర్సన్ ఇస్ ద మైండ్ నో అదర్ పర్సన్ ఇస్ ఎంట్ ఇట్ ద మైండ్ సేస్ టు ద టు ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ దిస్ ఇస్ బెస్ట్ యువర్ గురు ఇస్ యూజ్లెస్ యువర్ పాత్ ఇస్ బ్యాడ్ ట్రాష్ అండ్ దెన్ కంప్లీట్లీ చేంజ్ ద పర్సనాలిటీ ఫర్ అ వైల్ అండ్ యాజ్ సూన్ యాజ్ దట్ డిజైర్ ఇస్ ఫుల్ఫిల్ దట్ యాక్షన్ ఇస్ డన్ ఇట్ ఇస్ బ్యాక్ ఆన్ ద పాత్ ఆఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఐ ఆమ్ ఎ సీకర్ నౌ సో వాట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ ఆన్ హియర్ వెరీ ట్రికీ సిచ్యువేషన్ so the awareness helps here by putting more energy into the awareness i don't have any other words now we are using the occult words put more attention there repeat it more there are more tricks which will be told in the tantra bodhi not here so that is the sole cause of all your troubles that you have a very weak intention your will power is not strong even if the intelligence knows i should not smoke i should not drink i should not say bad words to anybody intelligence knows these things but uh, the body mind continues in the old fashion because they have more energy they have more power the old habits have the activities have more power so it is a power game now whenever we talk of power we talk of tantra only the intention is the biggest cause of failure in not attaining awareness in dreams and projection states intention is the biggest factor because your intellect says i need to have this experience being aware in the dream lucid dream but as soon as you start the practice the intention is so weak that it is drowned in the powerful tendencies to imagine something else to worry about the future or uh, i don't want it i'll just sleep <laughs> the laziness so intention is very powerful thing so when you when we are training you for attention practice just before the awareness practice there is a video on attention practice it is simply perfecting your intention rahul is saying is there such a thing called justice it cannot be experienced in my view are these just conceptual tools to manage society yes uh, the concept of justice means that somebody has decided what should happen in the society what is right and what is wrong it is very connected to the ethics and morals and people decide their own so you can simply use your direct experience to check it in one country the law says the murderer should be hanged that is the justice another country no they should not be hanged should not be killed one country it is fair and just to um, divorce a woman easily they very the rules are very easy in some other country injustice same thing is called injustice so if it change it is false this is the rule if the justice seems to change from time and place it has to be something man made so what do we say in the existence there is no justice and there is no injustice also like this is a common uh, misconception ignorance that uh, whenever these natural disasters floods earthquake and many people die and we say that this universe is not just not fair and just you know sent people died <laughs> but the universe is simply doing its work and some people say the law of karma is justice no it is not anything can happen you should come down in the level of the illusion and according to your needs and according to your society wherever you live you create your own system of justice that is all it is totally a practical issue nothing to do with uh, philosophy or truth i am the seer of justice i am the seer of injustice grammy saying plato said justice is the will of the stronger yes the people in the power they decide how whom to punish whom not to punish and they keep changing their <laughs> strategy it's okay siddharth is saying pioke seeker is the most immoral person yes yes immoral is the right word not immoral we have our own, our own morals as long as they do not 
conflict with the society you can have anything but it is trusted we trust the seeker that they won't do anything abnormal because they have knowledge and intelligence and some uh, people will say that uh, non violence is the best ethical position and that is what mostly i have seen most of the seekers adopt they adopt non violence that does non violence does not mean that we don't kill it means we don't harm if a wild animal is attacking you it is causing harm so it is necessary to kill it so the violence is has is not connected to killing or death it is more connected to harm i won't go in the details of that but you can meditate on this contemplate on this topic shreya is saying law of karma is cause and effect yes it is very basic cause and effect not justice those who think that the karma gives you justice they don't know the law actually if you fire a bullet to kill your enemy it is cause and effect and if the enemy kills you it is also cause and effect one thing will be called justice and the other thing will be called injustice totally biased you see and the law of karma is unbiased it is same for everybody siddharth is saying stay away from crowd in general no need to worry about justice and injustice yes your life is whole and complete actually why do we get in trouble with these things because some of your necessities come from the society and there is the trouble if you could grow your own food get your own water energy and have your own land to live in some place where nobody wants that land then your life will be very very smooth you won't need the social system but that is not the case isn't it you have so many needs you have so many requirements and then there will be events of injustice you should find a middle ground middle path here cut down the unnecessary and you will be saved from the trouble only that which is necessary this is the mantra in the path of knowledge i, I keep saying it so many times if you cut down the unnecessary you can be saved from a lot of injustice for example you are walking on a street lonely street in night wearing a lot of jewelry gold now obviously you are living in a society where there are all kinds of people so you may face injustice there why because it was totally unnecessary to do what you were doing this is very crude example but yes so what do we do on the path of knowledge we remove the unnecessary in three stages just one one more time i am going to repeat it these three three stages they are very important for newcomers at least first remove that which is causing suffering very easy you also don't want it remove it from your life completely because it is causing suffering write down in your diary what is causing suffering to me get rid of it second thing you remove that which is neutral but unnecessary like things jewelry too many objects in the house and anything which is not really necessary but is not also positive it's not giving you any pleasure or happiness this is the second step third step you remove all that which the mind says gives me pleasure that is very difficult so most of us are in the first step <laughs> we are simply trying to reduce our suffering and you will always see that the suffering never goes away by getting something it goes away only by giving up something by letting go of something you can do this kind of analysis how did i got rid of this suffering and you will always find that in the heart of that action was some kind of letting go i don't want these words were spoken and then the suffering went away some people will say no my body is paining my body is unhealthy say i don't want to the body it will go away your clinging to the body is the problem not the body or whatever is causing that illness unhealthy lifestyle or uh, pollution or stressful relation whatever is the cause i am not saying everybody should kill themselves because their body has some kind of pain no you can manage it but uh, ultimately when you are 80 90 years old then this complaint should not arise so some extreme examples i have given you need to think about it and implement rahul is saying direct experience opened my eyes to the world earlier i had just concepts of words like curiosity melancholy they were completely different than uh, that i had learned in books relearning every day 
there is nothing better than doing this yes most of the time we will be unlearning unlearning whatever was simply assumed to be true is your education is your learning now the path of knowledge is simply about unlearning what do we learn here nothing actually nothing is given everything is taken away so you will find that is the cause of happiness that is the cause of bliss when you have less and less and less there is more more bliss it is totally counter intuitive for a for a worldly person who thinks exactly in the reverse more money more objects more products more consumption more relatives more relations and that is a recipe for suffering can we have totally zero amount of these no only that which is necessary isn't it ultimately your decision to have a human body is the cause of suffering so that should be dropped in the end there also you say i don't want this and that will stop your cycles of birth and death nobody talks about what happens after that because nobody came back after that isn't it <laughs> nobody comes back when they stop their cycles of death and birth so we don't have any knowledge of the state after that we have only one thing which is which we are sure of that it will be ultimate bliss there is no other bliss that is bigger than that because it is completely empty you can simply project your formula here of happiness less is bliss less means more bliss less needs less desires less actions they mean more bliss and so you can you can see now that zero amount of these will be maximum bliss that much we know however on the path of knowledge this is not given that much importance because you can attain that maximum bliss state right now right here that will be called the jivan mukta state hardly anybody is there isn't it because you are the existence you are the bliss right now you can be that in spite of presence of the body mind their activities why because they are all illusory so taking this experience of the human world as a play makes you as blissful as not being born now immediately there will be a lot of expectation in the mind it will be an extraordinary experience to be like this but no it is ordinary experience devoid of the impulses of the mind that's all is the bliss do not over expect last time i was in bliss was when when i was totally drunk and we had a big party it was my birthday and so on we ate this much that is the concept of bliss for a ordinary person happiness but it is extreme suffering you had to do all that to simply become blissful extreme suffering isn't it but you can do all that no problem but take it as a play whatever you do for getting the bliss if you do it as a play then this kind of abnormal situation goes away in the mind this kind of ignorance goes away so the world was created for the play entertainment this is the original purpose and if you go back to that purpose again without clinging to it without thinking that it is real it is really happening to me if you stop thinking like this just be present in full awareness and play the play that is bliss as soon as there is attachment as soon as there is a belonging here this is mine that is mine you know ego then the play is distorted it becomes a struggle and that is the cause of suffering so ultimately the cause of suffering is the ignorance of what am i and what is this experience and it takes only 20 minutes to get rid of this ignorance it is so simple but you are bound in this ignorance since many lifetimes thousands of years this is the paradox abhishek is saying if only necessary things remains life will become simple yes true words and this is my own experience you know we are not repeating some shlok from some scripture here my own experience says this thing will that be a lazy life will that be a boring life no <laughs> you can do whatever you want just don't do that necessary do that which gives you pleasure which makes you happy and if you do something which makes others happy also then it is the ultimate play now you can check what these gurus are doing why are their life so simple yet why are they so powerful and loved by everybody you just got the secret of the whole existence isn't it <laughs> the biggest secret secret in the existence 
is to live a simple life in complete immersed in the complete truth and serve serve others play as much as you want you see all your desires will be fulfilled because hardly you have one or two <laughs> whatever is necessary will be left and that is going to give you the whole pleasure your prarabdha will be gone completely these are the miracles that happen when you apply this knowledge in your life isn't it when we teach them the new students look the world is illusion and you are this nothing zero big zero not hero and they go away with this knowledge they don't know what to do they don't know how to apply this because their mind is running on the old tracks i want more i want to look like this i want to become like this same old old fashion thinking and these the world is illusion and i am emptiness am even if they call it brahman does not really matter to them so these people um, can be called ignorant even after hearing the words they have done what they have only done the first step of the path of knowledge which is listening after that comes contemplation meditating and once you are convinced that oh, this is the real knowledge then abiding and what is abiding just application whatever i said get rid of the unnecessary get rid of this you know lifestyle of a yogi of a gyani knowing this mantras less is more letting go is the secret and so on it's not that these things are not told <laughs> they are told <laughs> they are repeated 100 times but um, people don't get it easily because their minds are running in the old style atul is saying how the spiritual alliance and having being there in spiritual gathering affects the ascension of seeker and also how much i need to manage the impact of materialistic surroundings around me it should have a positive effect depending on whether you have some kind of negativity in you some people have these things no jealousy and uh, competition but instead of that if you have a tendency to be inspired to follow and uh, simply you become a fan of people who are who have progressed beyond you you want to follow them instead of compete with them and so on then it is very natural that uh, if you stay with these people you will progress this is common sense actually general knowledge that uh, if you stay with intelligent people you will start becoming intelligent provided you don't fight with them you don't insult them because you know stupid people have this tendency that i am stupid and the only way i can feel superior is by insulting somebody who knows more than me who is more intelligent than me stupid people have this kind of tendencies so if there is openness to learn to progress then a company which is better than you is beneficial and this is actually called surrender in technical terminology we call it surrender oh as yes i am surrendered to the path i am surrendered to the guru and all my guru brothers and sisters once this uh, feeling arises in you then the progress is guaranteed because now the positive effects will be taken by the mind there is no resistance in it it will simply absorb like a sponge this is called the spiritual diet you know spiritual diet does not mean boiled vegetables without salt <laughs> the ahar what what are you taking from your senses that is the diet that is your food in a spiritual terminology again what are you taking in what impressions are you taking in that is your food spiritual food so you get so much spiritual food that uh, the spirit grows now your growth spiritual growth happens yes ascension is simply word for spiritual growth progress knowledge happiness love power control all these things they are pointers to the spiritual progress so how much i need to manage the impact of materialistic surrounding that which covers your material need sufficiently that much that much materialistic influence can be allowed you can call it managing the materialistic surrounding allow only that much which is necessary so here comes the problem of earning money <laughs> it is needed isn't it there is nothing wrong in being materialistic if it is needed but your 16 hours are spent in spent in only earning money something is wrong either you are very poor you are trying to make up for this poverty then it's okay but there is everything you are happy 
in your life then that is little bit of excess so that much should be cut down and what happens is people keep doing these survival related things thinking that what will happen to me tomorrow if i don't do, do these things completely forgetting that anything can happen tomorrow but yes intelligence says that we should plan ahead you should but you should draw a line also where it becomes excess where your plan crosses this line of common sense so this is the strategy that we use there is nothing wrong in materialistic world or materialistic actions as long as they are not being done in excess but ultimately you will find that there are no materialistic actions some people will say i own three factories i am the ceo of four companies and so on you know now all my time goes in that 24 by 7 i am there what should i do should i leave all these things become a sanyasi today and uh, you see in that case you should always consult your guru those who are listening from youtube and podcast and all they don't have any gurus so you should find somebody if you want to progress spiritually but this is your situation that you are totally drowned in the materialistic activities and your intellect will say that this is stupid i cannot leave these things then some path will be told to you that you can leave them slowly if you want because that is the prarabd we are looking at the pre allocation of that fellow who is trying to become a seeker he has already accumulated so much that he won't be able to give it away totally today quickly in fact if you do everything that is only materialistic but if you do it in complete knowledge and uh, awareness then that becomes your spiritual practice it is not the actions it is the intention even if you are doing if you are managing four offices three factories and 2000 employees no problem do it in complete awareness it is a play play does not mean carelessness isn't it carelessness means the play is over <laughs> so uh, carefully full attention beautifully this is called doing your work beautifully in one word the word beautiful in spiritual field means completeness leave nothing undone do it so completely that nothing remains to be done that is called a beautiful action so hardly anybody knows all these words because you say they are not in spiritual field but this is how you should do and if it is something which ordinary people say is materialistic then also it will be fine in fact people do all these things but there is a hidden ego there there is a greed there i am spiritual i am serving i am doing this but i am also getting 1 million every year and that is the real motivation actually and they cover it up with some kind of spiritual actions and this happens to those who don't have a guru because the guru can see inside you <laughs> which nobody can nobody else can so that is called the materialistic spiritualism spiritual materialism whatever you want to call it pretending to be spiritual i am doing something don't blame me but uh, the intention is something else so not the action intention is important if it is done with the intention of pro- spiritual progress then you can carry out all your mater- material actions objectives fulfill your desires nothing wrong yes this is very difficult subject very tricky subject so do not uh, decide based on these two three sentences that i said it is a big subject abhishek is saying comparison becomes problem in doing necessary probably you are saying that uh, we tend to compare ourselves with other people yes if you live in solitude this problem will go away because there won't be anybody to compare with but that is one extreme thing the other way is to simply do your best containment not comparison and the containment does not mean that you don't progress even materially you if there is an opportunity you progress you take the next step but the feeling should not be here that somebody else is there so i am going i need to be there i need to achieve that because somebody else achieved that that is ignorance if you can do it yourself then go ahead who is stopping you it's a play so comparison brings competition and sometimes it mis- misleads the person if you do not play good sport if you are not good in cricket and football then comparison will be made look you cannot even run that fellow is so strong 
scores so much and that can mislead the child into that field where he does not belong his preallocation is probably somewhere in the intellectual or artistic but his parents are pushing him due to comparison and then he will do that which is totally unnecessary he will spend his life trying to become a sportsman for a person of high intellect these things are boring you know they are good for a while but that, that is not their life goal so follow your bliss again this is the mantra here do that for which you are born balance is the key you are born to do something this and that but you know cannot feed the family now balance is needed sandesh is asking what is the root cause of all kinds of suffering ignorance is the root cause ignorance now the real question is why ignorance i can see a lot of ignorant people who are very happy can somebody answer this <laughs> are they really ignorant you know those people with no knowledge of advaita path of knowledge science or whatever so are they really happy or are they ignorant ignorance is the seed of suffering so this puzzle comes up in front of many new people new seekers that how will knowing this philosophy that philosophy will make me happy i am struggling here with money food don't have car don't have a house to live in i have very noisy neighbors and evil parents <laughs> and you are teaching me this thing vibration patterns what is the use of these things vandita is saying they don't even know they are suffering probably they have never seen the bliss that is the one thing but yes the ignorance is very deep that they think that the fulfillment of the desires everyday desires is happiness but there is one more thing sweet is saying ignorance applies to the mind but bliss is the nature of the self yes that is true knowledge and ignorance are in the mind not in you so anyway there is a intermediate state between ignorance and knowledge that is called innocence the people who you are looking at they don't have all this knowledge spiritual knowledge but they are very happy but they cannot be called ignorant they can be called innocent and this distinction was made in the program if those who remember the program there are three levels of knowledge ignorance innocence and knowledge so innocence also is a very natural state which is equal to bliss look at a child for example they don't need any much actually except food or security basic needs they don't need much to be happy but look at a grown up man uh, what what has happened between the childhood and adulthood a lot of false beliefs were accumulated that the gold brings happiness the child does not have this kind of for the child the gold is chocolate our reputation in the society and wearing the western outfit will make me happy <laughs> show off or killing somebody killing my enemies you know going on a war with some other country somewhere in the remote part of the world which i don't even know where it is because my leader told me to and you know what is this is this a innocence this is called ignorance remember the definition of ignorance presence of beliefs not absence and what is knowledge simply removal of beliefs so the knowledge actually makes you innocent but with intelligence you can look at a child or a, a tribal person or even an animal they are very innocent but there is no intelligence there lack of intelligence causes ignorance so a child even if he or she is innocent grows up in a society with very poor education system very less intelligence and fill with negativity fill with ignorance so they acquire ignorance like i said indoctrination is the biggest cause of ignorance staying with ignorant people makes you ignorant they fill you with the poison you were born innocent but this happened to you <laughs> that is why you need a guru now isn't it the body is born healthy pure with all all the organs functioning perfectly what happens to it once you become 40 50 60 years of age it has accumulated impurities same way the mind accumulates impurities so even though these people without any knowledge they look like happy they are actually innocent they are still not corrupted by ignorance not corrupted by this poison so you will find that the primitive societies the tribals the villagers 
they are more happy and laid back and peaceful but look at the cities they are like mad house so that gives us the impression that no no these things are knowledge is problem and being in the state of not knowing is bliss like he said ignorance is bliss that is not ignorance that is innocence so the problem with the innocence is it can turn into ignorance any time that is why proper path is needed if this path is taken early in the life in the childhood you will be saved from all kind of suffering completely but that will not happen it takes a little bit of maturity intelligence to approach a guru or to be attracted to a spiritual path stupid people are not attracted they don't want these things and by the time some impurities are taken on suffering has already happened <laughs> otherwise the mother nature has created a perfect heaven here only the ignorance brings suffering atul is saying when i do start anything an activity i feel a lot times inherent that i have done all this is this insight really some indication or illusion that my mind make me to appear it is still searching for a purpose that is what now what do you want to really do in your life is a question it is there will be dissatisfaction in the ordinary things like you said it is not meant for simply eating sleeping reproducing earning money and whatever watching news all day this is not the purpose of our birth this is the basis you see the basic needs they simply provide a base for the higher purpose for which we are born so the these things which people think is life is actually infrastructure on which the life is based we call it muladhar the basic structure basic support so once you are done with this there will be an emptiness we can see in the mind that something important is not happening only the unimportant things are happening and you cannot call them unimportant also because if they don't happen suffering happens so it can be an illusion but you need to find out and that is called uh, finding your pre allocation you know finding your purpose for which you are born and nobody can tell you and if you don't know you can follow some simple guidelines that what is it that you want to do most what is it that attracts you most that will be your prelocation what is it that you can do tirelessly without needing food sleep people nothing what is it for which you are always ready that will be your prelocation and there can be many things in prelocation not just one usually i have seen there are two or three things only if you get a list of to do things which are like i'm born born to do this 50 things probably there is some error then it is an illusion there will be two or three strongest tendencies in you which will be your prarabdh which will be your pre allocation you need to simply listen what is the technique here listen what gives me most pleasure what gives me most happiness we are not talking about bliss here because you see <laughs> the bliss is beyond these in the subject it is very something very high up there so we are not born here for bliss we are already bliss we are born here to finish our pre allocation which is simply a bundle of desires that's all fulfill these desires atul is saying i want and i searching for absolute i lost interest in anything which is transient so the absolute is you only where are you searching for yourself the search is over as soon as you know that i am absolute so anything which comes and goes if you are not interested in it there won't be next birth very simple isn't it nothing will be pre allocated so some for some people this is their last birth sometimes i can see that <laughs> they don't really want anything and i can see that whatever they want is result of current pre allocation so as soon as you understand that you are the absolute the game is over for you for atul vandita is saying since last few months okay i'll read it silently hmm so this is probably the situation of many people who are on the spiritual path of any kind we say that you are going with full speed when this is the situation there is a desperation to be free we are we say in spiritual terminology that the seeker has a very high intensity you must have heard this word from sadguru a lot if your intensity becomes this you can achieve that you know he says like this and people don't understand intensity of what should i start talking loudly <laughs> no this is the, the desperation is the intensity the urge to let go 
of whatever you have accumulated unknowingly so if you feel that more strength is needed i am not able to do it today and nothing to worry you see uh, they, these things happen at the right time when the right time comes that uh, bondage will be lost that chain will break and even though you want it to happen today that simply means there is intensity in you but uh, it may or may not happen you see wait for it while keeping this fire burning this urge to be free should be kept alive oh, it did not happen today did not happen after one week also after one month also i will just give up what has happened here you have killed this urge the intensity is gone now so it will not happen now so we keep it up that which was gathered and that was totally unnecessary which was, which was gathered now i want to leave it it's not going today no problem it will go at the right time in fact there are some people who say that it is already predecided predestined what will happen and some people can even see it <laughs> on this day and this time it will happen and it is amazing because sometimes it comes out to be true i have some two or three students for which it looks like it is it was totally predestined the events are happening like clockwork which means mechanically they don't even have that kind of intensity or something you know probably they have a, some kind of suffering and the suffering is the driver sometimes not the desire i want to get rid of this this is the driver sometimes it is the desire to be free so i've seen that the events are happening in their life automatically so we should achieve some kind of balance here that you know keep the keep your intensity on but also let mother nature do her work when she is arranging many many things yeah, it can take some time so you see about me helping people yes if i am not doing anything that simply means that i am waiting for the right moment it is not that i am not doing anything i am always doing something isn't it but uh, if i am not giving you daily instructions do this today do that and that does not it's not really needed that means as soon as the point is reached where the person is ready instruction is handed over it is given instantly i do not waste time in that and then we need to wait again you know because th- that seeker may not be able to follow that may not be able to execute the instruction like a computer they also have some problems you see social problems material problems financial family problems this but the instruction is given anyway look you need to go in this direction this is the path for you do this something like this will be told and you should enjoy the process you see instead of becoming impatient you know intensity does not mean impatience it is a strong desire that's all fire burning but uh, patient cool calm let it happen enjoy the process and many people will understand this process it is happening as soon as you come on the path of knowledge as soon as you receive the truth from the guru this process begins now we should not worry you know these are technical things whether it is predestined or not you simply assume that i am in control this instrument mind body should simply assume for a while that i am in control i'll do it now this this kind of knowledge that i am not the doer who will do it it is all predestined so i'll just sit here no 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 symbolic action sometimes i tell people to do something which is totally unimportant and th- that is that instruction is given because they are stuck in this non doership and then they actually take off simply because of this symbolic action gathers a little bit of force it is so complex matter that uh, i depend on my guru for this <laughs> sometimes i don't decide what to do for simple problems i can you know give instructions for something bigger i simply wait for the instruction i get the instruction first then it is passed on to the seeker student what will be the best and we keep it on the safer side most of the time although sometimes i see some people are very daring fearless and they are given the final instruction that will be kind of very rare so totally depends on your readiness as soon as you are ready you will be given the next instruction you see these are these instructions are very specific very very personal tailor made like in the ordinary satsang i usually say don't run after money don't run after people don't do this. and for for some people who are totally lagging in this field they are given 
the necessary instruction that you know you should earn money you you should set up a house you should set up a family something like this so the general talk is completely useless um, for such people because everybody has different tendencies everybody has different pre allocation and only an experienced guru knows how to hold their hand make them walk on the path and sometimes i make mistakes but it does not matter isn't it as soon as you are walking on the path you will reach there ultimately your desire to let go is also a desire you should keep it burning watch what happens make this intention very very clear in your mind there will be some people you never tell me anything you tell others what to do you never tell me anything because probably you are already taken care of your life is happening in a most natural way already or probably you are too new to even start on this kind of process many people must be wondering what is this process and why don't i have this process everybody has this process don't worry <laughs> it is simply the process of progress which is you are already progressing isn't it even without knowledge you are progressing because of the grace of the mother nature but we put more fuel in this process by giving you the knowledge the knowledge it looks like that it started with the knowledge but no it speeds up with the knowledge as soon as you have the knowledge it will speed up and what is this process it's simply evolution isn't it evolution and nothing to worry actually you will you won't become a stone or you won't disappear only the unnecessary is dropped that is all will happen this creature is not capable of more than that what will i do and this is the fear in many people the guru told me to leave this leave that <laughs> better to leave the guru first thing unnecessary isn't it so this is the fear what will happen to me nothing will happen actually if you are already whole and complete what can go away from you the ignorance was accumulated and that is being shed that is all this process is after the knowledge obviously it will speed up you will actually see in front of your eyes that look these and these and these things were totally unnecessary totally stupid idiotic and they were accidentally not surprisingly the cause of suffering that will be your experience once this is gone do i need to do anything more no 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 just keep the fire burning that means the process has started enjoy the process you know that is i don't think anybody will be initially will be able to enjoy because it it looks like a torture because everything is taken away from you the old habits say that i am losing something and not only the unnecessary is being burnt away and that is called uh, <laughs> the burning of the vrittis in kundalini yoga we say the kundalini fire burns up everything in the end it burns the entire body also yes the body is accumulation only the, in the kundalini tradition the body will be seen as an impurity <laughs> it is gotten rid of by the kundalini but uh, what happens really nothing freedom happens just like the case of innocence you were not only innocent you were free and powerful then you decided to become humans and now there are so many accumulations that you think they are my belongings i am defined by them they will be taken away it is painful in the beginning yes but then the bliss starts showing up it was hidden behind these clouds but then bliss is always there isn't it it's eternally blissful so it starts showing up in the experience also and then you should enjoy it those who have a guru <laughs> they are already enjoying like anything without the guru it is a struggle yes the real guru is who is not preaching who is showing look i can do it you can also do it this is the real guru so normally i don't tell people that which i have myself have not done if they have potential then they are given something bigger but usually i try it myself sweet is saying even in vaishnava tradition it is said sharir avidya jail jail yes it is a jail <laughs> only thing is that you know that can lead to hate of the no, body no it is said uh, sharira avidya jal like a network of avidya it is a network of avidya that is what is meant okay i read it as jail but that is also true isn't it it's it's our jail here we are trapped in this but yes it is a net trap what can happen is that if you simply believe it that will lead to a hate of the body people start hating the body they degrade the body and the needs of the body are overlooked they want to become like a saint overnight and that is not proper in my opinion so on the path of knowledge we accept the body 
because the body here is seen as an instrument of liberation and not a obstacle of li in the liberation it is an obstacle if you see it is, say that it is my body it is me then it is obstacle yes then you are trapped in it but if, if you use like an instrument as a tool to get out of here then it is the most amazing tool what else you have tell me body and the mind you don't have any other instrument and even the body is not that useful in the spiritual practice mind is your only instrument you should sharpen it make it very very sophisticated and we use this to come out of this trap because we don't have anything else this is the genius of the path of knowledge there is no rejection here acceptance yes the unnecessary is discarded yes do you need to cover your body with gold and paint your face with red color or something no it just keep it normal beautiful use it its primary purpose is to support the brain and the intelligence otherwise we are not alive for the body we are alive for keeping this instrument on which is called mind the waking state is supported by the body now you can see the importance of waking state and the importance of waking state experiments so the body is being used as a tool support so that we can conduct our experiments here and they lead to freedom from the body what will you get you know i was talking about this thing once this is done what will you get what is the meaning of freedom it means you can get anything you can become anything you want this is the meaning of freedom and many people prefer not to become anything because as soon as you become something it is additional burden another trap so that is why it is called dissolution because as soon as you enter the illusion again there is actually a guarantee that you will be trapped again who is this you this is what we ask on the path of knowledge who is trapped and then you will see that it's completely meaningless actually now the now the body becomes an instrument of knowing that i am not trapped i am free and i am not not this individual <laughs> without the body you will never come to know all these things so we make it make the instruments better actually those who know this art can take any body can go in any world can live for millions of years in any form they will not be troubled the key is knowledge awareness and that is the technical name for that is bodhi sattva essence of knowledge that is the meaning bodhi sattva so i know only that much there is a possibility to become a bodhi sattva after you are freed from all this unnecessary things then you take on the unnecessary things because there is a will there there is a desire there to free all the forms which is completely illogical but the the show must go on isn't it the play should happen there is energy in the universe it will manifest no matter what no matter how dissolved somebody is <laughs> liberated means to be able to play consciously with full awareness so you see the body is not a problem only the ignorance is the problem that i am the body and i am not free to do anything else except live as a human being now you can see this is a very big teaching this is probably the biggest teaching in the universe you see the ego can be dissolved any time it is already not present it is also an instrument to keep the body alive so only bodhi sattva is actually living other people are puppets including the seekers and the gurus they are reaching there and what is nirvana when this much is also not needed this much also becomes unnecessary so remember that it is already like this <laughs> in the existence nothing is necessary so the sansar is the nirvana so fully knowing this you choose your play and do it you are free already this is the bottom line so here we are going to end today's satsang hopefully everybody benefited and keep practicing keep progressing i'll see you next time